Welcome to Healing Minds. Today we're diving into a topic that's incredibly personal and often very painful, coping with grief and loss. Grieving is a natural response to losing someone we love, and it can leave us feeling overwhelmed, lost, and sometimes even hopeless. But it's important to remember that healing is possible, and grief doesn't have to be something we simply endure. It's something we can move through and grow from. In this video, we'll explore five unique coping mechanisms to help you process your grief and find a path toward healing. Before we get started, please subscribe to the channel to receive mental health content. Thank you. Grief can be a confusing and isolating experience, and it's important to acknowledge that there is no right way to grieve. Each person's journey through loss is unique. Healing doesn't mean forgetting or moving on. It means finding ways to live with the loss and continue to find meaning and joy in life. Today, we'll talk about five practical, perhaps less commonly discussed tips for managing grief and loss. Let's explore these together. First up, let's talk about creating a memory capsule. This is a tangible way to honor and remember your loved one while also giving yourself a dedicated space to grieve. Find a small box or container and fill it with items that remind you of your loved one, photos, letters, mementos, or anything that holds significance. You can add to this capsule over time and it becomes a personal sacred space where you can visit your memories and emotions whenever you need to. This can be particularly comforting on difficult days. For instance, if you're missing your loved one more intensely on a particular day, take some time to go through your memory capsule. Hold each item, think about the memories associated with it, and allow yourself to feel whatever comes up. This practice can help you feel connected to your loved one while also giving you a safe space to express your grief. Next, let's explore the power of therapeutic writing. Sometimes, Talking about your grief can feel overwhelming or complicated. Writing, however, can provide a different outlet for expressing your emotions. Start by setting aside a few minutes each day to write in a journal. You don't need to worry about spelling or grammar, just let your thoughts flow. You can write letters to your loved one, expressing things you wish you could say to them, or simply jot down your feelings and reflections. One specific exercise to try is the unsent letter. Write a letter to your loved one, telling them about your day, your feelings, and how much you miss them. This can be a powerful way to maintain a sense of connection and help process your emotions. Another idea is to write about a favorite memory you shared with your loved one. Describe it in detail, recalling the sights, sounds, and feelings of that moment. This can help you focus on positive memories and celebrate the life of your loved one. Another unique way to cope with grief is through creative expression. Engaging in creative activities can provide an outlet for emotions that might be difficult to express otherwise. Try painting, drawing, or crafting as a way to channel your feelings. You don't need to be an artist. What matters is the process, not the outcome. For example, you could create a piece of art dedicated to your loved one. Use colors and shapes that remind you of them or symbolize your emotions. If you're more comfortable with music, try writing a song or playing an instrument as a tribute. Creative expression can be incredibly therapeutic and can help you process your grief in a nonverbal, intuitive way. It's also something you can do alone or with others, making it a versatile coping mechanism. Next, let's talk about incorporating mindfulness walks into your routine. Walking itself can be therapeutic, but when combined with mindfulness, it can be a powerful way to manage grief. Find a quiet, natural setting, a park, a forest trail, or even a quiet neighborhood. As you walk, focus on the present moment. Pay attention to the feeling of the ground beneath your feet, the sounds of nature around you, and the rhythm of your breath. This can help ground you in the present and provide a break from the intensity of your emotions. If your mind starts to wander to your grief, gently bring it back to the sensations of the walk. This practice not only helps reduce stress, but also gives you a dedicated time to be with your thoughts in a peaceful setting. If possible, make this a regular part of your routine. 
allowing yourself time to connect with nature and find moments of peace. Lastly, consider volunteering in memory of your loved one. Volunteering can provide a sense of purpose and help shift your focus from your pain to helping others. Choose a cause that your loved one cares about or one that resonates with you. This could be anything from animal shelters to community gardens, food banks, or hospitals. Volunteering allows you to honor your loved one's memory while making a positive impact in your community. For example, if your loved one is passionate about animals, consider volunteering at a local animal shelter. Helping care for animals in need can be incredibly rewarding and provide a sense of connection and purpose. If your loved one values education, you might volunteer at a local school or library. These acts of service not only honor your loved one, but also help you find new meaning and fulfillment in your life. Grieving is a deeply personal and challenging journey, but you don't have to go through it alone. By creating a memory capsule, engaging in therapeutic writing, expressing yourself creatively, taking mindful walks and volunteering, you can find ways to cope with your loss and begin to heal. Remember, it's okay to ask for help and it's okay to take your time. Healing is a process and with each step, you are building resilience and finding hope. Thank you for joining us today. If you found this video helpful, please like, share and subscribe for more content on mental health and healing. Together we can navigate this journey and find strength in our shared experiences. Take care and see you next time.